Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with a Avada short. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the box shadow options in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. You will find box shadow options in both the container, column, and nested column elements, plus a range of other elements like the content box, menu, and video elements. You will also find it in the options when making a Nevada off canvas. The option allows you to place a shadow around the edge of the element and can be a very useful design tool. Let's just have a quick look at what you can do. I'm going to add a box shadow to this global container here on the third pre-built. I'll just edit the container and go to the design tab and when I enable box shadow, we get a range of new options. The first of these is box shadow position. As the description says, this sets the vertical and horizontal position of the box shadow. Positive values put the shadow below and to the right of the box. Negative values put it above and to the left of the box. So if I add 20 pixels in the vertical and horizontal option, the shadow is placed 20 pixels down and 20 pixels to the right. If we wanted it on the other side, we could for example change the horizontal 20 pixels to minus 20 pixels. We can see a preview here, but we haven't set a box shadow color yet, so this is just a guide. So let's give it a color. I think I will go with a semi-transparent black here. So now we can look at the box shadow blur radius. This controls how defined the shadow is. At zero, you can see it's a very hard shadow, just like shadows in the sun. And if I set it to something like 40, it gets very diffuse, like shadows in overcast conditions. Box shadow spread radius is next. A positive value increases the size of the shadow, while a negative value decreases it. If I just grab the handle here and slide it to the left and the right, you can see exactly what this option does. Here I will leave this on zero. For this example, I think I will go back to the box shadow position and set zero pixels for both vertical and horizontal position. This places the box shadow directly behind the container. If we preview it now, we can see a diffuse shadow all the way around behind the container. Cool. I've already set the box shadow color, and here you can add either a hexadecimal value an RGBA value, or any global color. Finally, there is the box shadow style. This allows you to choose from an outer shadow or an inner shadow. Outer is the default, and that's going to be the best option in most situations. But an inner shadow is also a cool effect. If I just add a container from the library into this page, here you can see an empty column with an inner box shadow. Okay, that's the box shadow option in Nevada. Go wild. And that's it for this Nevada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.